Well, a couple years prior to 2002, Grand Theft Auto 3 was released and became quite the phenomenon. Yeah, like so, the game of games. Yeah. yeah. Uh, lots of people who were not gamers were playing Grand Theft Auto 3. Mm -hmm. Yep. So in 2002, they followed that up with GTA Vice City. Yeah. That was a hell of a thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that was the, uh, GTA 3 laid the groundwork for all these games, but I think Vice City is the thing that injected it with the sort of the energy and yeah, the like pop it, culture. It GTA ified it. From yeah, three. it's the thing that took a couple radio stations and then all of a sudden it made this iconic suite yeah. of, of classic seminal 80s music and oh that my God, you could, it was so good. hopping from playlist to playlist, these different yep. genres, uh, pulling in, uh, you know, inspirations from Miami Vice and Carlito's Way mm -hmm. and, and yep. Scarface. And you uh, get a bunch of 80s like, a-ish, but like also B and C movie stars. Oh, yeah, totally. Casted. Yeah, Gary Busey, mm -hmm. really. I mean, Ray Liotta was the main guy. He was yeah. still pretty famous at the time. Yeah. But then uh, yeah. Dennis Hopper was in there, which yeah. was great. Um, oh, man. Yeah, just really so just amazing. Uh, the thing, no one remembers three story or characters. I mean, your character was a, uh, at the time, nameless, silent protagonist. Yeah. Uh, whereas here, you had, you know, the voice of the lead character of Goodfellas yep. voicing Tommy Versetti, and then you had this sort of awesome cast with, with Lance and Ken Rosenberg, and yep. this amazing story, and this amazing world, and such an incredible, like, the Liberty City didn't really have a, a, def a definition to it. It didn't theory. have, like, character. It was just yeah. buildings. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, Vice, Vice City, oh, which man. is Vice City like a this person. gorgeous 80s Miami, yeah. you know, you're, you're getting apartments, you know, all sorts of bad things with drugs. Crazy yeah, drug drugs in real life. Yeah. Movie um, studios. Yeah, just really, really phenomenal. Yeah, it's probably yep. still my favorite GTA. Yeah. yeah, I remember I stayed home. From, if my parents are ever watching this, I'm retroactively sorry by 13 years. Uh, I, <laughs> I totally faked sick the day Vice City came out. Nice. And I stayed home and I played it all. Wait, how, so you're, how old were you? You sound like you were too young to be playing GTA Vice City. <laughs> I was like 15. Yeah, see. Yeah. I know, the box said 17. Yeah. Excuse me for going on the right, <laughs> which I was absolutely not, Yeah, but still. Yeah, and also did a great job of, uh, like we talked about when we talked about GTA 3, of sort of... Yeah, you can go down this guided path of a really cool story, or you can just mess around in the world and yeah. cause the a game luck. was so big; it was ridiculous. Yeah. From it, the, the game experience varied from person to person. Mm -hmm. Like the way, I'm just there for the story, but yeah. I, I would go to my friend and he, I'd be, "How are you on the story?" He's like, oh, "I haven't done anything, yeah. but yeah. I've like stolen a hundred different cars yeah. and yep. this, and I have it's like we have three tanks, and I got a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. He doesn't care. It's just this open world of, of fun. Yeah. yeah, and it was you know it was just like everyone was looking up those cheats to where it's just like you know if I just want to go in and see how much. You know, chaos I can I can cause yeah. before I get uh, arrested or killed. Like I'm gonna do that. Yep. Yeah, they pretty much make you a Batman villain. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I feel like it, it might. I don't know. People would probably crucify me for saying this, but I think it, I think Vice City is probably the best of the pre HD mm -hmm. GTAs because like it, it, it's cool because like they all kind of build on each other. Like three is the you know it's the first time it's in 3D, and yeah. then Vice City gives you this huge world with like well acted characters and like an actual feeling to the world itself. But then San Andreas kind of gets a little too big to be I, manageable, sure, so I, I feel like Vice City is like the perfect slice of what, yeah. you know, pre-360 and PS3 Yeah, yeah especially uh, like San Andreas, uh, just it, it trying so many different things. And yeah, sort of, which uh, is great, Yeah, but, but it goes in too many directions. Yeah, I mean, it tries to tell an L.A. story, a San Francisco story, and a yeah. Vegas story, which is, you know, a little, uh, yeah, I mean, it's ambitious as hell, but uh, Vice City is very focused on telling yeah. this one really interesting yeah. story about these small set of characters, and yep. it does it phenomenally.